taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the mic, I'm talking taste buds. Taste buddies. Hey, hi guys. We got another one coming it's at you It's time for another hot debate. Taste buds. Taste buds. I am Sal Volcano. I'm Joe DeRosa. I'll still get hung up, to bring it into food terms, on the chicken or the egg thing. Still, what came first? I still get hung up on it. Yeah. Which, ca- it's impossible. <laughs> yeah. Well, what did we, did we come from fish? <clears throat> I don't know. Did we? I get, we, I get well, we're related to, like, I, the chart of evolution, but where did the first monkey come from? Or, all life comes from bacteria from the water, I believe. Right? Right, I think so, right? Did they ever prove that we're, we're chickens, chicken or the egg? I mean, it must have been a... Something laid the egg first, right? It had to be. It had to be, right? Basically, many, many moons ago, there was a chicken-like bird. So in a nutshell, or an eggshell, ugh, two birds that weren't really chickens created a chicken egg, and hence we have an answer, the egg. Okay, well, who created that bird? Hello? It was, a, it, was a, it was a more of a mammalian, I guess, kind of thing that just gave birth without eggs. What? What? I said it was more of a mammalian kind of a thing that gave birth without eggs. Is a mammalian something that gives birth without eggs? A mammal. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> look, look, it is like ten o'clock at night. It's, I've been, yeah. I've, been <laughs> I've been podcasting since noon or one. I don't. It's insane. Uh, a mammalian. Oh, a mammalian. Oh, but I never heard someone call it mammalian. Yeah. I've never heard that. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Mammalian. I almost thought you were naming it. Now that you say it, I, it becomes obvious. I'm a little bit punch drunk myself, but mammalian, I've never heard someone use that. Have yeah, you? mammalian or, or mammalian, mammalian. I probably said it wrong. M- mammalian is different. Mammalian, m- mammal. Oh, if you said mammalian, I might have maybe connected the dots. I don't, think you, I don't think you would have. Mammalian is, <laughs> eh, not right. I don't think you, I don't think you would have. But a mammal, but, but okay, well then, so yeah, right. So, so, but wait, what? Jesus well, how did the Christ. first mammal? Where's, go back. Everything's just from bacteria. Buddy, we don't have time. Amoeba. These are half-hour eps. You were trying to trace the beginning of life right now? <laughs> 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 we got a debate to do. <laughs> Man, we are going from the, the existence and question of eternal being to what's, what juice is better. It's, it's just, yeah. Let's, where are we at time-wise, Mike? All right. He's homeless. Let's launch the <laughs> let's launch the debate and then we'll well maybe during the debate we can come back to how life began. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh which is uh, you know, an argument that uh, I wonder which which juice came scientists first. Scientists are still having. What's that? I wonder which juice came first. Why do you lead it, let it lead us into this, Joey? Lead us in? Yeah, lead us in. Introduce the uh This is an interesting one. Now this 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 one came up on one of the first group of episodes we recorded. Um, some, I don't remember what we were discussing, but somehow we got into orange, briefly orange juice versus apple juice. And Sal said that he thought orange juice was the superior juice, best drink of all time, blah, 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 blah. I said, apple juice beats orange juice. He strongly disagreed, which was confusing to me because we once had a conversation, uh, the two of us, uh, and we were quite a few drinks in where we named our favorite drinks of all time, our top five. Yeah. And I remember Martinelli's apple juice was on the list for both of us. We, 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 we bonded on Martinelli's being the Shout out Martinelli's. so good. Uh, so I'm surprised that you took such a hard stance about uh, uh, orange juice. Well, because that doesn't definitive. negate how I feel about Martinelli's. Some of these episodes, I won't disagree that I like the thing you're arguing for, but head to head. Orange juice is the king of all juice. I mean, it is. In my opinion, apple juice is the best juice. And I have more to say, but let's launch the Twitter poll. Before okay, we here we go. Better juice, apple, orange. That tweet is out. Okay. Uh, look, here's the thing. There was a time where I loved orange juice as a young boy. Uh, the older I get, uh, if orange juice doesn't have vodka in it, I can't be bothered. I'm going to be honest with you. I love a screwdriver. Uh, can we I, bat this around back and forth, or do you? Because I, I have something to say on the heels of that. Go ahead. Something I never thought of until you just mentioned that. 
Not that this makes it a better juice, because I want to stop having arguments where we attach the product to other things when it suits us. But okay. apple juice is really fairly not used as a mixer or with any cocktail Never. spirit whatsoever. Never, except hard cider. I stand completely corrected. <laughs> there is an entire industry based around it. Yeah, uh, now I you- didn't really inc- apple juice. I didn't include, but I guess apple cider. I actually strike that from the record. It's 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 in there's there. there's yeah there's a there's a uh, Christmas punch you can make which I have made on Christmas Day for my family. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh God, Wassel oh, spiked apple Wassel. cider too. It's hot cider. So Wassel is whiskey. I mean, what am I talking about? Yeah, whiskey is Wassel. Wassel, excuse me, is whiskey with apple I cider. Take it all back. I cinnamon take it all sticks. Back. It's delicious. It's just not a bar drink. A traditional bar drink. Now, now, also, cider is not apple juice, but I do think that it counts in in support of the the, the strengthening the argument of the the worth of apple juice. It's a variation of apple juice. Um, we didn't say cider, okay? But I mean, it's 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 pretty much apple juice, you know. My yeah, point. I guess it's a what's well, it's a thicker, more like hearty. Maybe it's pro- po- possibly pa- processed differently. Yeah, yeah, sure. It's got more of a. Maybe is, is is it better for you or just sweeter? I can't imagine a world a cider where it's and an apple juice uh, for pimp. You. Official description from Massachusetts Department of Agriculture says cider is raw apple juice. Oh, okay, it is better for you. That has not undergone a filtration process to remove coarse particles of pulp or sediment. It's basically like like uh, apple juice with pulp, maybe. Yeah, but I also think they probably aren't adding a lot of sugar to cider, uh, whereas apple juice. And cider is much more like it doesn't. Yes, see, they add, they pasteurize it and add preservatives uh, yeah. uh, to, to extend so, shelf life. Because so cider, right. you, I don't think you get cider like, like it's not good for as good as long as like a, 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 an apple juice is. Like you can't put it in your fridge for like a year. I don't think or whatever. So here's my thing. Here's my thing. The apple as a fruit. Let's start at the base. The apple is a fruit. Just a far superior fruit. I know what to you're the thinking. Orange. You want. You want. You slaughtered me. As a nucleus of your argument, and you can extend into the juice. I didn't say that just yet. Okay. I didn't say that just yet. But the apple is a far superior fruit than the orange. I don't agree with you whatsoever. Far superior. I don't agree with you whatsoever. There's versatility. I think the the orange is better than the apple. That's even as a fruit. The orange is the orange. That's all it ever is. I I I have to be like, I guess I'll eat an apple. You got it. I mean, you you put an orange in front of me. I'm like, do you have a second orange? You got a ruby red apple. You got a uh, a Granny Smith. You got a green apple. Oh, you can name apples. You got a delicious. Please name apples. Yeah, they're wonderful. The flavors. Every time I bite into an apple, I'm like, all right, it's a waxy, um, it's a it's a waxy skin that gets caught in the middle of my teeth, and then you start chomping on the apple, and it gets like foamy and sudsy a little bit. Yeah. And it's always a little tart or bitter, and then you swallow it, and like every time you bite into it too, it's like I feel like it's ripping into my gums, and ultimately it's okay, but like. You slice up a nice orange, you quarter it, you put it into segments, and like you just rip it and you rip the skin off and you bite it and the juice is bursting and it's just alive in your mouth. It's 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 just vibrant. It's 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 refreshing. It's like it pops orange juice. You know what I mean? It it, it really it 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 the sugar it, 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 natural sugar in orange is so much more I think palatable than than. When I bite into an apple, an apple's like kind of like weirdly sticky and I don't know. I don't love the texture. I find the orange to be one of the most boring fruits. I never buy oranges ever. I buy cherries. I buy peaches. I buy strawberries. I buy blueberries. I buy apples. I buy bananas. I buy, uh, 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 uh what are they called? Uh, they put pears. it in sushi. Know you, we, so- know you, we know you buy pears. Pears. They put it at mango. Love a mango. Okay. Mango. Never, ever do I buy orange. It's funny because I, th- what you just said is how I feel about apples. I think it's the most boring fruit ever. I think it's like, I told you what they do with apples when I argue the apple pie. Like, please come, bring your friends and family. For $5, take as many goddamn apples as you can put in your arms. All right. Just fill your sweatshirts up, fill your pockets, right. take baskets. We don't need to weigh it. Right, right. $5, come in here, just take the goddamn apples. There's so many apples. <laughs> just take them. You see an it's, orange tree? Yeah. 
I had one in my yard in L.A. I mean, it's gorgeous. I never picked an orange off it once. What is ma- what is the matter with you? Something's wrong with you? I had lemon trees. Why and did you have trees. an orange tree? It was there when I moved in, and I said you can stay there for all I. And you a still shit. didn't. You didn't pick a fresh homemade orange. Not once did I pick a lemon or an orange off my own orange and lemon tree. Didn't give a rat's ass. Not even a lemon. Make yourself Man, some like, homemade lemonade. I Maybe like put lemons. a lemon in a, you know, just for a shrimp cocktail like or lemons. put it over a piece of what We're have not you. We're talking lemons. We're talking oranges. We're talking apples and oranges. You don't like the taste of an orange? I like it fine, but I couldn't give a shit. I don't care. Listen, we're getting sidetracked. I, I on the even fruit. like the texture. We're getting sidetracked the texture on the fruit. Of, of an orange. On my, yeah. Okay. Fine. Let fine. me tell you why the orange juice is bad. It's not bad. I like orange juice. I, I like it. All right. But let me tell you why it's inferior. All right. It's too acidic. All right. A lot of the time, bad orange juice is real bad. You got to really find good orange juice, and you got a lot of bad brands of orange juice. Now, this isn't what I criticize you for. Where I go, Sal. Of course, there's a bad version of everything. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is most orange juices you would pluck off your supermarket shelf. I agree with are you. bad. I agree with you, but I'm not talking about a, a brand of bad orange juice. I'm talking about give me your best glass of orange juice versus your best glass of apple juice. And I will tell you this. Marinelli's knows what they're doing. But apple juice, for me, is pretty redundant. I don't. A lot of times I don't taste the difference. If I have a cup of apple juice from somewhere and a cup of apple juice at your house or a cup of apple juice somewhere else, it tastes the same to me. It you know tastes why like that the is? same apple juice. Because it's the nectar of the gods. It's being, I don't they don't so. have to do anything to it. I don't believe it. so. But where, where is it? Where You're is taking it? a superior fruit and creating juice out of it and it always tastes if good. If you ever have a, a beautiful, fresh squeezed glass of orange juice. I mean, I what mean, are we talking here? I mean, if you if you juice an apple and drink it, it's not good. It's apple cider. It's delicious. It's not that good. I drink good. it every Thanksgiving, Halloween through Thanksgiving, I drink That's it. That's cool, because everyone else drinks orange juice every morning for breakfast. Oh, So no. you can dip into the apple juice. Do you think you could wake up every day and have a glass of apple juice? Every single day. I think it would get a little old. I mean, don't get me wrong. I have apple juice infrequently enough to always enjoy the glass of it, but I don't know if I could drink apple juice as frequently as I drink orange juice. And also, I'll tell you another thing. Honestly... I could have orange juice anytime, and I dunk. I even that. This is another story for another day. But like, it's almost like embedded itself indelibly into breakfast. Even though you could have it anytime and socially in drinks and cocktails. But like, sometimes I don't even feel like yeah, I'll have a water or a coffee or a tea with breakfast. But sometimes when I'm having toast, eggs, or bacon, you. There's something that is has evolved in our DNA where I feel like you need to taste orange juice during a hearty breakfast meal like that to complete a <laughs> breakfast experience. When when a drink, when a beverage can accomplish that much, I think it is a heavy hitter beverage that needs to be respected. And I cannot say the same for apple juice. I cannot apply it I'll to, tell you this. to basically... This is ingrained in in society, and it, it has its place in. Bre- it is the king breakfast I know, beverage. But you love bar none. You love going to this argument of so, what society does, and it's never a well, good we're t- way we're to go. We're polling society, Joe. It's I know, but I'm saying like it's not the strongest. It's not the strongest uh, thing to support your argument. Is my point it doesn't speak to quality necessarily. Is my point. Now here's the thing: when I eat pancakes, I always get a black coffee and an orange juice with it. Pancakes or waffles? Pancakes, waffles. <sighs> Mark it down, yeah, Pimp. write it down. Write it down right now. Uh, I love waffles. But, I love pancakes. But, but I mean, unless it's an ego, you can get it out of my face. An ego? Yeah. I'm not talking frozen food, babe. I'm, I'm t- talking pour, ba- pour some batter, pull, 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 throw a Belgium on my plate. Wouldn't, what are you, bonkers? I won't even look at it at the breakfast buffet. I won't even. Listen, let's save it. Let's save it. Let's save it, Okay. Now, now, I'm talking standard waffle hold on. for standard Sal, pancake. We got to save Don't throw it. blueberry don't at me. Don't burn it out. Don't burn it out. Yeah, standard waffle versus standard pancake. Yeah. I don't put anything in my pancakes. Buttermilk, that's it. I, I love pancakes. Hold on. I need to be in the mood. But if, I, if, I'm, if I'm really questioning pancake versus waffle... You're going to ruin an episode. Okay, okay. You got to stop. Okay. Gotta... <laughs> okay, okay. Listen, here's my point. When I eat pancakes, I drink orange juice with it. I love it. It's a beautiful combo. I like it quite a bit. But I am telling this. If I slept on this very couch today. Which you have. Go ahead. Right? Yeah. Yes. And then I woke up tomorrow morning and you were standing over me, as you often are when I wake <laughs> up. And you said to me, you want some juice? My first pick would be apple. Why? Because 
You don't have it as much. It's a treat. It's not. It's not that. It's because I know I can trust it to be delicious. Orange juice when it's bad. Look, there's no worse juice on planet Earth than the fucking plastic Tropicana orange juice bottles. The singles that you get no, at the that's, deli. But babe, that's from concentrate. They're, they are terrible. Sure, but anything from concentrate is. And look, don't don't get me wrong. That one right there. Not no, not that don't one. Don't get me wrong. The, the no, little, yeah, that no, one. That's, no, that's terrible. That's that's it's terrible. Disgusting. That's like that's like that's but that's from concentrate. That's literally nonsense. You I, cannot that cannot even be in this conversation. You want to talk a simply orange? I'll drink it. I love a Simply Orange. You know, but let me even tell you this. Tropicana, when I was younger, every single, and this is nothing against anyone, but, like, I don't want to hear, but, like, I feel like everything when I was younger was different than now, and it was just of a higher taste and quality. Over the course of years and market, like, the way the market trends and everything, you know, corners are cut, ingredients are, 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 are less quality, less fresh, portions are cut down when they're marketed, and, 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 and that's the way of the world. So I feel like if I had a glass of Tropicana from when I was 10 and a glass of Tropicana from today, that Tropicana, at least in my head, tasted better. Now, that, nothing against Tropicana now. It's still my number one go-to juice off the shelf. Over Simply Orange. I'll take a Simply Orange, no problem. You'll take a Simply Orange. I like Simply Orange. Simply Orange is the king of orange juice. Nobody tops Simply Orange. Nobody. I mean, it's it's okay. I mean, no, no, no. It's Simply Orange. Get yourself a Trader Joe's Fresh Squeezed. Simply Dude. Orange is it, it's the it's it's the closest to fresh squeeze you can get in a supermarket. Simply Orange is very delicious. But you're putting Tropicana above Simply Orange. Not necessarily. Okay, fine. Trader Joe's Fresh Squeezed is what you're saying. <sighs> Listen, Actually, there's another there's another brand, and I, I wish I could recall it. Uh, it's it, but it's the same vein. It's it's a small company, like a mom and pop company. It's a it's fresh squeezed orange juice company, and it, it it literally blew me away when I had it. And I would put that juice up against anybody. Orange know, juice think. nine times out of ten, and you're not going to believe this because I because I drink grapefruit juice sometimes. Orange juice nine times out of ten gives me a stomachache. Nine times out of ten. Then how do you drink grapefruit juice? I don't know. I can't grapefruit explain juice it. Is like take all the fun out of the orange juice and take all the worst parts of a bad orange juice and triple it for grapefruit I juice. Can. Grapefruit juice, we already agree, we already found out. And if we didn't, then this is a spoiler. Let's not talk about it. All right, let's not talk about it. My point is, is nine times out of ten, orange juice gives me a stomachache. Also, like I said, I enjoy a screwdriver. I love a screwdriver. I can have. Two screwdrivers. Yeah, they're not meant to be drank on. Before I'm like, this is get it away from me. I'm gonna get sick. Apple juice. I could drink. I'm gonna make you an apple with, juice and vodka. And the same with grape juice. I could drink glass after glass after glass. Grape juice is an unsung hero, but it's just too sweet. I would take it over orange juice in the morning. Something about citrus. I need citrus in my life. I don't like citrus in the morning. I'm not a huge fan of it. I can do it. Well, I and used, I've done I, it. I used to do it a lot more. Now I can't because I get like I get like unless I have like a lot of food or and I'll have like half a glass. But I used to pound orange juice. I can't do it anymore. It doesn't take away though what I'm battling here, which is the fact that just there's a reason that orange juice sits where it does. There's a reason that it's the number one breakfast beverage, and apple juice is not. For sure, apple juice has been around nearly as long as orange juice. Why has orange juice become king in every category over apple juice? Simply because people are responding to their taste, and over time, it has been proven. I don't even have that have this argument with you. I could just defer to the fact that orange juice is the most popular juice. What are we deferring that to? That happens for a reason. What are we deferring to? What are we deferring to? You're telling me a Mott's apple juice. You think that that's not as good as a Tropicana orange juice? You're nuts. No, I'm thinking nuts. Orange juice has more applications. I crave it more. It goes with more things. Uh, It's the more popular juice. Uh, It's going to win this poll for sure. And for a reason. You know what I'm saying? It's it's for a reason. I'm going to go back to my argument as well. Apple juice, by the way is underrated in a way because I I like apple juice and most people do. I, I hear people say, oh, I don't like orange juice. I hear that. But I don't normally, I don't often hear people say I don't like apple juice. I'll give you that. But in that respect, apple juice really is good. But like you associate with a couple things. You associate it with 
the holidays with like ciders and spikes. Exactly. And then you also associate it with children. Like children drink apple juice with their sandwich, with their lunch. When you're a little apple juice, you give a kid. Yeah, and I, I know, I, I know it maybe. destroys teeth, but like, like you don't give a kid like orange juice. You put in their sippy cup apple juice. So that's where it carved its niche out. Now, so ask you, yourself you're why. You're voting for the why because you clearly orange juice is a dangerous juice that you can't give it to children. And I believe personally that children are the future. So I'm yeah sure let them lead I'm the way right. Glad, but, I'm glad to not harm a child with orange juice. I'm glad yourself, to let a child yourself, eat wonderful apple juice. Ask yourself why in the course of history apple had every opportunity that orange did. Every opportunity it didn't. It did. And ask yourself why apple because of a systematic why apple didn't because use of that a to systematic its prejudice. Like what? How? Because of a systematic prejudice. Where's, orange, the, where's the prejudice? Because apple is apple pie orange, is americana. Orange apple picking is americana. Juice orange juice has wormed somehow its way into every continental breakfast and every hotel across this because people think it's across this country. It, apple juice is not given the shot. If 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 I could have it my way, grape juice would be right there next to it in the in the breakfast bar. And you never see grape juice because there is an unfair prejudice against these other juices and <laughs> and apple juice is getting an uh, uh, orange juice is getting an unfair push. Calling all breakfast buffets and breakfast bars Apple uh, grape juice would be a nice touch. It would be. And have you ever had apple juice at a breakfast buffet in the morning? I may it's have. It's wonderful. But I will tell you this, though. You're saying that it didn't get a fair shake and there's a prejudice, but you really are saying that it's baseless. And I, I personally believe ba- America has I, fallen out of love with orange juice. I want to see. Sales dropped almost every year for the last decade. Last year, orange juice sales hit their lowest level in at least 15 years, according to Nielsen. Over the same period per capita, consumption fell roughly 40%. Yeah. With that in mind, I still believe orange juice will beat apple juice, and I and I also believe they've gotten the exact same platform, also, and I think Apple has failed to do to capitalize on the opportunities that orange juice Here's did. the other tally, babe. Talk to me. Have you noticed my svelte figure? I do, actually. I have. Yeah, I've dropped a few pounds. You did? Yeah. You know what that is? Thanks in part two. What? Eating better. Oh, okay. You know how I eat better? Magic spoon? Well, yeah. Did I just do the thing where I just, you had a whole big lead up? Yeah, a whole thing. And I chopped you off at the knees? I had a whole thing. sorry about that. I had a whole thing. I was going to say, you don't cut out the foods you love. You just eat the foods you love in a better way. Okay. And magic spoon helps you do that. Growing up... Cereal, best part of being a kid? Yeah, still the best part. Best part of being an adult? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So when you want to cut down on sugar and you want to cut down on carbs, you want to cut down on unhealthy foods, you know, uh, cereal is one of those things you just toss out the window and you go, I can't have it. But no, you can have it. You just have to have it in the right way. We're all trying to eat better. So here's a cereal. It's going to give you zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein per serving, and only four net grams of carbs 13 to 14 grams of serve of uh, protein to serving is a lot of protein it is for, especially for a cereal yeah a lot of people like you can get you can that's a source of protein yeah yeah no doubt yeah, no doubt only 140 calories you said yeah keto friendly gluten-free grain-free soy-free low carb and gmo free and they got exciting news magic spoon has released a super delicious new flavor this is new because it's the first time hearing of this uh, birthday cake okay stop the phones and the presses I didn't know that there was a new flavor till we were reading this. Yeah. And birthday cake has become my favorite flavor of ice cream. Uh, <laughs> really? So I love, oh, birthday cake cereal? Why has nobody done that before? It's available in the special five-pack for a limited time only, Joe. You, oh, better get, you better get going, babe. All right. Build your own box. You can do a custom bundle if you want. You don't have to choose theirs. They have cocoa, fruity, frosted, peanut butter, cinnamon. Mm-hmm. If you're listening from Canada... You can get it now, too. Go to magicspoon.com slash taste buds to grab the new limited edition birthday cake or a custom bundle of cereal to try today. Be sure to use our promo code taste buds at checkout to save five bucks off your first order. Uh, the offer is now good anywhere in the U.S. or Canada, but only when you use our code at checkout. That's taste buds. That's the code taste buds. Magicspoon.com slash taste buds. Use the code taste buds. Get your taste buds going on the magic spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Sally. How are you feeling over the last 12 months? I feel like it's been 12 years. <laughs> I hear you. Yeah. You know what? Uh, let me talk to you about one of our sponsors. Sure, please. Blue Chew. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. You know what Blue Chew is? It's a unique sure. online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis. You've heard of these. But 
They deliver to you in a chewable form at a fraction of the cost. I've tried these things. Yeah. They work, baby. I think I've told you the story before of a long weekend I had in Vegas. Oh, yeah. And then a lovely lady friend of mine said, why don't you stay an extra day and spend some time with me? And you and attribute I, a lot of that to the power of Blue I Chew. Said, Hello, Blue Chew. <laughs> <laughs> and boy, did we have a time. <laughs> Uh, well, here's the thing that uh, people really respond to. It's an online prescription service, so there's no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, no waiting in line at the pharmacy. It just trips right to your door, and it's discreet. That's yeah, and, the big and one. And if you're not aware of what we're talking about yet, the, 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 this is a product that is going to give you better, stronger, harder erections, and it's a simple process to sign up. Just go to bluechew.com. Consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you're going to get your prescription within days, and it's all done online. It's so easy. Licensed medical providers work with you to find the right ingredient and strength for your prescription. If you don't like swallowing pills, there's no problem here. This is all chewable. It's made in the USA. They prepare it and ship it direct, so it is actually cheaper than going to a pharmacy. There is really no reason no. not to do it. it. It just, you checks every box. It's better in every way, right? So, here we go. Uh, special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free. Free. I mean, that's another big one. When you use promo code TasteBuds to check out, just pay the five bucks for shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code Promo code taste buds to receive your first month free. And uh, thanks, Blue Chew, for uh, sponsoring, for messing with us. The podcast. The thing I don't like about orange juice, it repeats on me all, all morning. I'm burping it back up all morning. It's just, uh, the acidity. Now, here's why. Here's the difference between that and grapefruit juice. And this is what I don't like about app or orange juice. Orange juice is a sneak. Okay, with grape juice, I know, grapefruit juice, I know what I'm getting. Okay, it's bitter. I know what I'm getting. I drink it. I enjoy it. It's like devil's piss. And I'm done. Okay? Orange juice, it goes, drink me down. I'm so refreshing. I taste so good. I'm quenching your thirst. It's not quenching my thirst. It's loading my mouth up with sugar that's not quenching my thirst. And then it's so hiding. It's hiding its acidity. And then that acidity is coming back up and repeating on me. I mean, yes, maybe you now, me now, us now. But, like, in life, that didn't happen to me early on. I drank orange juice like I was, like it was, you know, I was the last boy on earth and there was unlimited oranges. And by the way, for a guy, for a guy that loves a versatility in, 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 in loves versatility in a product, you ain't getting shit out of orange juice, dude. There ain't no other orange juice, whatever juice blends, okay? But you got cran apple. You got grape apple. I don't care about that. We're I'm, just, I'm just, apple using versus your, I'm just using your, I'm just using your Also, what about vitamins, bro? What about vitamins, bro? I said it. 100% of your vitamin C in apple juice. You get the same amount of vitamin C in apple sure? juice. Are positive, you sure? Are you sure? Positive. When comparing Eight apples ounces. to oranges. OJ, oh, that's what we're doing today. We're comparing apples to oranges. Yeah, I know. Right? OJ is the clear favorite. But boom. Eight ounces of 100% natural orange juice has more than twice the amount of vitamin C recommended by the USDA for children age 1 to 13. Pull me, up, pull me up vitamin C in apple juice, could you? It's it's an absurd. If anybody's getting their vitamins from juice, you're an idiot. Everybody it's knows an when you have a cold, drink vitamin. It's drink an absurd juice. way to By get the way, your vitamins. What about C content was an apple juice. Highest vitamin C content was an apple juice. More than the orange juices. Over seventeen samples analyzed. The one with the well, highest. Answer vitamin me this. C. Answer me this. When when you're sick and they say you got to get your vitamin C, why do they not say drink apple juice? Oh, really? They also tell you to take uh, uh, Advil and, and Tylenol and things that eat your stomach lining and do God knows what else to your body. <laughs> you, 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 you. But you know what I mean. Yeah. I mean, this is like an apple yeah. a day. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Why don't you make a garlic rub and put it on your chest to, to clear out <laughs> congestion? Uh, that's probably a good thing. Yeah. I mean, come on, dude. What kind of what kind of old I mean, lives prairie shit are you talking about right orange now? Orange juice is, is associated with health benefits at large and I in popular culture, and I don't think apple juice is. It's a misconception, though. But why? I've heard it since I'm a little kid. Because there is a false narrative about orange juice. That's not happening. true. They say have a lot of liquids, drink orange juice. When you have a cold, they never say drink orange juice. Are you bat crazy? They never say drink orange they juice. They say drink orange juice. They say drink juice, drink fluids. Okay. Both of America's most popular juices are delicious, low calorie beverages with many nutrients and no fat. But if you're choosing. 
go for OJ, it's known as a vitamin C powerhouse and boasts almost twice the potassium of apple juice. Apple juice has a healthful amount of potassium and vitamin C, but lacks folic acid. Okay, and can we give the source, please, of where this information is? This comes from cookinglight.com, so it must be accurate. It's under the... Eating smart choices. What do you it mean? must be accurate. I want to see who did the study. Can you go back to the previous page, Mike, so I can see who did the 17 sample study of of uh, apple juice? There it is, right there. You you re- what is that? <laughs> Eureka Alert. org. I mean, look, fruit that- juices contain more vitamin C than their labels indicate. <laughs> There you go. This is a real what do you study. There you go. This is nothing. It's <laughs> that doesn't, that look how legitimate this you, website you looks. Just said, you just said there you go, based on nothing. Like you just won a point there. Look how legit this website looks. You don't, you don't trust this website. Look at the initials at the top. A A A S. I don't know. This looks fine to me. I mean, American Association for the Advancement of Science. That's I that that uh, yes yeah, that holds water over cookinglight.com. Yes. Yeah, so what does it say? It's this is the website that said they they sampled seventeen different things and apple juice far and away had the highest vitamin C count. Yeah, but it doesn't have the folic acid and potassium orange juice. I'm telling you, there's a reason why doctors used to say drink a lot of liquids, drink orange juice if you're not feeling well. They also used to say eat an apple a day and it keeps the doctor away. Remember that? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Don't step on that. Don't step on what I, I just said. He, they said I got a signal. They said eat an apple a day it keeps the doctor away. Remember that? Yeah, that's a yeah, crack that's a out. way more famous doctor saying than drink. Drink orange juice. No, it's not. Uh, yes, it is. When you have a cold, Stop they it. say drink plenty of liquids. Make sure you drink orange juice. They say that all the time. It's just as much. Just as much. By the 1980s, people started to realize that the healthy alternative was not so healthy. This is when not from concentrate mm-hmm. OJ emerged, the kind that many of us have in our homes today. <laughs> not me. Being a... Supp- <laughs> When I was no, little, when say- I was little, my grandma and my, my, my mom, my aunt, they used to like get the frozen... Yeah, like they popped it open that, like a yeah. Pillsbury dough thing, and they just dumped it in water and slushed it. Yeah. That was like orange drink. But that stuff was, you know what was great with that, though? Was you could drink it before it was all thawed, and it was like having an orange ice. Yeah, you could get the chips, the yeah, ice it was chips good. in your mouth. Uh, now from uh, contrary, OJ Emerge, the kind that many of us know, being a supposedly a healthier option, not from concentrate, OJ soon became the most popular choice. That's wild, and that's from an article May 2020. <laughs> That's wild because not from concentrate OJ is not good. No, no, not from concentrate. Oh, wait, sorry, sorry. Correct. They're, I'm reading. Yeah, it. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's the end of a ten-hour day. Yeah, I know. I, I, look, I told you you were batty on the last from episode. Con- we oh, so you're saying from concentrate OJ before the '80s? Yeah, they were. Was saying- the tip was the standard? Yes. And come the '80s, not from emerge and God bless us. Did, so we're did, only drinking notice, not from did you notice cons how- for forty years. You told literally a story from your own life of exactly what that was describing, and you still didn't understand what it was you were reading. I you, am. You literally kidding. said, when I was a kid, my mom would get the frozen guy. Well, because not it's, from concentrate. It's almost like nonfiction and fiction. <laughs> like, in my head, not from concentrate is the good stuff, but when I was just reading it really quickly, I was like, not, not from concentrate is the good stuff. Right. Yes. Yes. <laughs> from the, con- the matter with you From right concentrate. Now? In my head, from concentrate. <laughs> Is n- not from country. It feels like it annotates that it's not the good stuff. Sally, with the word "not" in it, like nonfiction feels like it's not real, but it is non. You know what I'm saying? Y- y- it's a non. Listen, don't listen. Orange juice is better than apple juice. All right, let's go to the phones. Let's go to the phones. Are we at? Are we at? Has it been that long? Uh, yeah. We have to. We have to get. Here's the one thing we have to do. We have to get the poll out more closer to the top of the app, so we have more time We're to vote. We're getting thousands of. Yeah, but still. Responses? Still. All right, fair enough. I'm not against it. Yeah. Okay, uh, here we go. Somebody's going to eat humble pie. Okay, holy shit. So, okay, let me just say a couple things. No, no I know what you're doing. You won, and you're, no, you're going to try to make it sound like I won, so you can rub it in my face. Dude, that, that just you hold won. on. Yeah, hold okay. On. All right. Just hold on. All right, yeah, go ahead. Please hold on. Okay, first of all, uh, I realize that. At the, at the other two polls, I put like, hey, we're doing a podcast. Choose between this. Less peop- Clearly, less people see it because it took, in this amount of time, only 3,000 people voted. But in this amount of time, when I just put better juice, I guess this is an algorithm. I'm just saying, you don't need to know the business of this, but why not? We're being transparent. Yeah. Uh, 
already 14,000 people voted on this one. Really? And last time, we had way more votes than this time. So I guess putting some business of a yeah. sentence beforehand, instead of just going, better this, we do not get as many votes. You. So the other ask- ones were topping out at 3,000 votes. This is 14,000 votes in 22 Before minutes. Before you give the results, let me ask you one question. Do you have enough of the couch? Are you comfortable? <laughs> You could do whatever you Look want. Look at me over oh, here. come on. Stop it. <laughs> Listen to me. You're not ready for this. You're not ready for this. I'm not ready You're for not this? ready for this. I think one thing, folks, that's happened during this last year is we've all felt that we want to be more productive. We've had a lot of downtime, and we've all felt that we could be more productive. And sometimes, in certain ways, we are more productive. But I still feel like we're all looking for tools to push that even further. Okay. And that's where... Ship, Ship station. station comes into play. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You like this service? Because I love it. Oh, top notch. I love it. Yeah. Look, here's the thing. You got an online business, you know, you got an online store, you're doing your thing from home, you're selling some products out of your house. God Orders knows are coming what... in fast, now you got to ship them out. What are you going to do? Yeah. God knows what it is you're selling. I'm not here to judge. As long as it's legal. ShipStation makes this part of it easy. Yeah. With ShipStation, it's simple to import, manage, and ship your orders out fast for a lot less money. Again, no brainer. It's no wonder ShipStation is the number one shipping software for e-commerce, e-commerce sellers with more five-star reviews than anyone else. Import orders from any sales channel, mm-hmm. ship with any carrier, with using deeply discounted rates, right. automate any shipping task. So what I like about this is, with, with my experience with this product, the hardest thing about an online business, the hardest thing about doing something from home, the startup thing, the true startup thing, you know, uh, when it really is just you doing your thing, which I have done uh, throughout my career, it's so daunting when you think about how do I get what I have here to those people over there. And ShipStation has made that so incredibly easy for me in, on all fronts. Uh, I just, it's, it, they are taking away the bureaucratic system that is preventing you from doing your thing. Oh, you're talking now, baby. Yeah, you that's are what talking I'm saying. Now. They're Here's, doing God's work here. The thing that is cool, that I think is the coolest part of it is it doesn't matter where you're selling. So if you're right. selling on Amazon, you're selling on Etsy, or even your own like website, they funnel your orders. ShipStation funnels your orders into one interface. Mm-hmm. And then you can manage it from anywhere. And it, you can even manage it from your cell phone. So yeah. it really does streamline the process. Uh, ship more in less time. Just Use our offer code TasteBuds to get a free 60 day trial. That's two months free of no hassle, stress free, stress free shipping. Can't beat it. Just go to shipstation.com, click on the microphone at the top of the page, and type in TasteBuds. That's us. That's shipstation.com. Enter the offer uh, code TasteBuds. Make ship happen. Make ship happen. Oh, well, now I get that. That's cute. All right, it's dirty. cute. I like it. You want to hear a joke? Always. What did I say when I called Fresh on the telephone today? Hello, Fresh. Hello, Fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Fresh. One of our sponsors. We love these guys. Sending you fresh, pre measured ingredients, mouth watering, seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. Skip those trips to the grocery store. Who doesn't want to do that? With or without a pandemic or a lockdown or whatever. Who wants to go to the grocery store? You're squeezing sideways down those aisles. Think about it. Gross. (laughs) Marie store. Yeah, yeah. It's right there in the name. Yeah, you're always sliding against some guy in the seasoning aisle. You know, it's too close for comfort. That guy. (laughs) It's too close for comfort. Uh, Listen, here's the thing. Hello Stress is going to cut out the, fr- the stressful meal planning, uh, the, the trips to the grocery store, as we said. But the best part is, is you're going to cook and get your dinner on the table in about like 30 minutes, which if you work like I do, like Sal does, like Mike does over here, I mean, it's like, you know, you don't always have the energy, man. And sometimes a drive through is not a good idea. You and, know? Yeah, and the, the options are there. There's a wide variety Easy, delicious recipes. There's options for all. Three meals a day. Every snack in between. Special treats. It's got it all. Uh, and get a better value. HelloFresh is 28% cheaper than shopping at the grocery store and 72% cheaper than a restaurant meal without sacrificing the quality. So they're giving you cheaper stuff, quality stuff. It's quality stuff for cheap. Saving you the trip. 
and letting you get a healthy meal in fast food time. You know, for me, I that's ne- amazing. I'm notoriously a I do not cook, and so when we got to try this because they came on as a sponsor, they delivered it to the house, and I actually cooked a meal, mm-hmm. and it is a cathartic, fun experience, and it gave me a little confidence because it's easy to follow. Right. And now all of a sudden, I feel like oh, maybe I could open my own restaurant and be like a chef. I like what they do because I feel like it's a cooking show in a box. I feel like when you watch a cooking show, it's tough because it's you know they've got every. Everything prepared, everything's ready to go, blah, 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 blah. I feel like HelloFresh is saying, no, this is like when you watch the show and you said, well, I wish I just had all that ready. They got it ready for you. Yeah. So go to HelloFresh.com slash TasteBuds12. That's HelloFresh.com slash TasteBuds12 and use the code TasteBuds12 for 12 free meals, including <laughs> shipping. They're literally giving this stuff away. That's 12 free meals, including free shipping at HelloFresh.com slash TasteBuds12 when you use the promo code TasteBuds12. What's better than free food? You're not ready for this. <laughs> I, you're not ready for this. Come on. This is going to be a mind-blowing thing. It's going to be 14, mind-blowing. 14,000 people. 14,000 people voted. Are you ready? I'm not even going to say it. I'm showing you. Ready for this? Oh. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This 50. is a this is a taste buds first. 14,000 votes. We are dead at 50-50. Uh, Apple just took the no. slight lead. Wait, no, because <laughs> Pimp voted Apple. Why did Pimp vote Apple? You change it by 0. 0.3. No, but on the, on the app, it doesn't give you percentage points. But on the, on the website that we're looking at, it breaks it down to actual percentage. On the app, if you can see this, it literally is 50-50 after 14,000. What? Look at this. 14,500 votes, 50-50. Apple is is leading by 0.1%. This is wild. This is nuts. I never thought that uh, that it would be 50-50. This is nuts. Neither this is the I. biggest battle we've ever seen. This, this is nuts. 14,500 votes, 50-50. And if you, get, if you want to be accurate, because people are voting. I mean, in the time we showed this, another 1,000 people voted. Another 1,000 in, yeah. in the last 30 we seconds? 13, four. Refresh, Mike. Hold on. And now we have straight up 144. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh, get the get out of here. Get out of here. Come on. Oh, how bad Come does on. it hurt? Come on. 0.1%. No, no, no. 0.1%. No. F this. No Mike, way. Screenshot no, no Mike, way. screenshot that. Mike, screenshot that so it can go onto the wall. No so way. So it can go onto the wall. I oh mean, 15,000 votes. 50.1% Apple versus 49.9%. Woo! <laughs> well, this is unbelievable. Oh, the thrill of victory, the agony of defeat. Oh, my God, it feels good. I can't believe that. That feels so, oh. that feels better than a pummeling. It feels better than a pummeling. This is unbelievable. And it's holding, it's holding strong. It's holding that extra 0.1%. Now you're afraid right now because you gonna refresh in two seconds it's gonna flip he's refreshed it twice it's 50 50 look at this i'm hanging on 50 50 on my 50 point one honestly we, we got to go to this we, yeah of course we got to go to this <laughs> oh my god that feels so this good. is wild yeah 50 50 wow i did list apple juice first oh come on you won <laughs> the last two <laughs> that's got you nothing think, to do wait, with it of course I'm taking a W. A I won. Percent. Yeah, I won. <laughs> That's the way the orange peels, baby. <laughs> Wait a second. But my phone is 50-50. I don't care what your phone is. That is more accurate. That's the desktop website of Twitter. I won by 0.1%, and it's holding. It's holding. He's refreshed three times. It's Four holding. times it's already. It is. It's holding Caulfield. I don't believe this. That's the I'm win, 50, babe. 50 on the phone, though. That's the win. I'm 50 50 on the phone. You, you, you're winning. God, you're going to win 50.1 to 49. Yeah. It feels better than a pummeling. It really does. <laughs> it feels, this feels so good right now. I can't, this feels so good. I wish you could feel it. I feel bad for you that you can't feel how good this feels right now. And you, you were asking for this all day. Ooh, you were running your mouth on the other ones we recorded today. You were so arrogant on the other ones. 
Oh boy. I really All right. I can't. I mean, I, I actually, I'm still reeling from this. Like, I don't know if I can. Let's, I don't know. Mike, scroll down, please, and I'll read some tweets because we got to wrap this up. Oh my god. Mike Birbiglia says, "Thirsty are in the market for some fun. They're two very different beverages." Uh, Whoever is voting Apple, you can come fight me right now. <laughs> uh, that's a contender for best tweet. Uh, Apple, only good orange, just has either champagne or vodka in it. I agree. Used to think orange juice was the best, then I grew up. <laughs> <laughs> Apple juice is the best juice to ever, Sal. Shouldn't even be a debate, okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Best of the two. Oh, for God, sorry. I'm not reading that one because we hate when people do that. Keep going, impress. Oh man, this is this is a this is. I mean, we are we. I mean, with only it's with, 50, 50, within I'm only a, with on, somebody wrote. With, within only a handful of episodes, we have had just in, this is these are insane battles. <sighs> this was a good. This one, was dude. this was this is unheard of. I I I would venture to say that we may never, ever. I I, I this is like hitting a, like a lightning getting hit by lightning. <laughs> But this the, the 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 lowest sliver of recordable percentage, <laughs> the, the the lowest sliver, the the closest you can actually come, you can you can't achieve a closer score than this. It, it, the, the, no, the, it wouldn't it. even it wouldn't even compute. It doesn't go down on the decimal point. No, that's it. So the closest you can ever have is winning by point one. That's that it. will never happen again. That will now, never happen again. Now it does merit. Uh, and we should make a note of this. <laughs> Choose orange, but only with champagne, baby. That's a good one. That's funny. Oh, my God. Uh, or, ooh, look at that one. Wait, we go back. Orange gives you orange gives you heartburn, and at least you can tolerate some apple juice after brushing your teeth. Great point. Watch. This will be a dead heat until the very end. Then pomegranate will juice. It will run in with the chair. <laughs> it's 50-50. I'm sweating. Although I picked orange juice, they're both great. Look at this monster, that, what this monster wrote. Go back. No, no, slide up a little. <laughs> Look at this monster. I'm calling him out. And Aaron W., cranberry, grapefruit, tomato. Anything but those two. Oh, take a hot shit, buddy. <laughs> tomato. That's insane. Tomato isn't a juice. It's. Uh, Look at this. Ready? You may, here's one. You, here's a great tweet. You're missing an option. Beetle. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. I think I think the winner uh, of uh, responses. Oh is, God! Oh God! I'm gonna give the win. I say the winner was actually the first one that used we used to think orange juice was the best. Then I grew up. It was either that one or there was one right before that that we really liked. Christina oh, Hutchinson who, uh, says this is way too neck and neck. Apple juice for life. Oh, I th I was my favorite was who whoever is voting Apple. You can come fight me right now. That was my favorite. Do you like the other one better? We can give it to orange juice. Then I grew up. Oh man, this is this is tough, man. And then the champagne baby too. Choose orange, but only with champagne baby. Actually, maybe it's this because that that gif is so good. <laughs> yeah, that's really funny. All right, yeah, let's all right. Let's give it. it to this one. All right, Kaylin Barrett is our winner. At you can follow Kaylin at. K A Y L Y N N underscore B A R R E T T. Thank you, uh, Kaylin. I, I can't take this loss right now. Can you refresh again, Pim? Yeah, let's just go see it one more time. If this, I know, I know, I know. It's you, you won, but I feel it's gonna flip. Oh my God! Nineteen thousand votes, fifty point one to forty nine point nine. Not budget. This is wild. <laughs> this is wild. Oh damn! This is a full on barn burner right now. The results of this poll are insane. That Apple juice is for toddlers. Adults drink orange juice. Yeah, what's that person talking about? Then I grew up. That, what's what I was saying. Juice. I said when I was a kid, I liked orange juice. And you get older, and it's it's just, it, it's you you it, you stop believing the lie. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! All I right, can't take this loss, man. All right, Joe. I still love you, babe. I love you too. All right. <laughs> Guys, that's oh, our show. That was a hot one. Now I don't, I don't even want to end this. I want to. I want to. I want to. I dare you. I dare you to give me five more minutes. This is I why. I dare you. No, no. We have a rule here at Taste Buds, which is now we will revisit this on a later episode. This is. Got, this is. This is. This is going to be like an like a like a like a like a rem like a thrill. Like this is going to be an. This is a heavyweight rematch. Yeah. This is a heavyweight 
rematch, my friend. Yeah, we will rematch. We will revisit this in a later episode, as we said we would if it was ever this close. Oh, look at it, just sitting right there. It won't budge. Fifty point one percent. Oh God, this is this is. I'll never have a victory this sweet in my life. I don't even care if I lose the rematch. I, this is so good right now. Uh, it's so good. Imagine we have a rematch and Orange wins, which is very feasible. And then we have to have a rubber match. We have to have a. Uh, it's a. It's. I mean, it's a trilogy match. <laughs> this is. I mean, this is like. We have to say if there's if if I win the next one on this rematch, we we maybe have a live ep. Oh we yeah. Do a live ep on. It's and like it's it's gonna be like. I and mean, I'm what's a famous honest. trilogy? Frazier Ali is that is that a trilogy? A what's fight? what's one of the famous famous trilogies of all time? Indiana Jones. No, but I mean, a fight. I know I'm kidding. The uh, I don't know. Oceans is 11, 12, 13. Uh, there's got to be yeah, but best trilogies plus in boxing: Sugar Ray Leonard versus Duran, De Jesus versus Duran. God, Duran's in two of them. That's wild. Pacquiao versus Morales, Patterson versus Johansson. Did I read that wrong? No. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> I didn't. I don't know who Ingmar, Ingmar Johansson. I don't even. I've never heard of that guy. Uh, all right, folks, that's the show. Listen. I mean, that it, we, what will, a, we will never be able to take to recreate this. What a show! And I gotta admit, it started a little slow because we were punchy. Yeah, we were rambling, and then the debate wasn't too heated. So for it to votes. for it to end with this twist is just wow. This is this was perfect. And uh, Pat Walsh and I review uh, horror movies and such on "We'll See You in Hell." Uh, you can get new episodes at Patreon.com/slash WSYIH Podcast or old episodes wherever you get your podcasts. SavileCanoComedy.com for any of my touring. Uh, right. Jokers and Dinner Party and Misery Index are on TBS and True TV. Uh, and um, yeah, man, I, 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 this is this is tough. This is a tough loss. Uh, yeah, it is. This uh, is this know, is embarrassing. Uh, this is a photo finish. I do a podcast, of course, called Hey Babe with Chris Stefano. Check that out. Uh, back catalog with Q of What Say You. Maybe we'll do that again. And uh, I don't know, man. I'm I don't know what I'm even talking about. I'm just rambling now because. This is the toughest loss I've ever been handed. <laughs> All yeah, right, it's no good. See you next week. Taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the mic. I'm talking taste buds. Taste buds.